Hi boys and girls, my name is Terry Thomas and I'm with the Boys and Girls Club Board and I'm also with Regions Bank. And guess what? It's summertime. Are you excited? Me too. I wish I could be with you, each and, each and every one of you in person, but I see all your smiling faces, smile and wave. Yes, so good to see you and I miss you all so much and I'm so happy to be here with you today. Are you ready to read a story? Okay, yeah, here we go. All right, this one. Have you read this one before? Anybody? Raise your hand if you've read this one. <gasps> I don't think I have. It's called Grumpy Monkey, and it's by Suzanne Lang, and the, it's illustrated by Max Lang, and it's a New York bestseller. You ready? Okay, here we go. All right, look at that. <gasps> We're in the forest. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke up to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Look at the bananas. <gasps> Look at the monkey. Oh my goodness. What do you think it is? Everything was not right. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy suggested Norman from next door. Have you ever been grumpy? Yeah, me too. I think we've all been grumpy at one point. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. You think he's grumpy though? Oh, oh his walk, on his walk, he met Mar Mar Maribu. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Maribu. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Jim asked Maribu. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. You think he's grumpy? But look at how you're standing, Maribu said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So, so Jim loosened up. He loosened up and he said, look, I'm not grumpy. You think he's grumpy? Look at that guy right there. <sighs> then he ran into Lemur. Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman said Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. See the lemur? Grumpy, me? I am not grumpy, said Jim. Look, he's jumping up and down and he's going, yes, you're grumpy. Your eyebrows look grumpy. Make your eyebrows grumpy. Is that grumpy? Yep, you look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim, raise your eyebrows. He raised his eyebrows. What do you think he's gonna say? Then he tripped. Then he tripped over a snake. <gasps> Have you ever seen a snake? Oh my goodness. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling grumpy. Grumpy? Me, I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown? Does he have a frown? Look, look what he's doing. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Look, I am not grumpy. You do this. Can you smile like that? Am I really smiling? I don't think so. Finally, Jim looked out. Finally, Jim looked happy. But he didn't feel happy inside. What's a smile look like? Not like this, huh? Am I happy? Everyone wanted Jim to, to, to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. How did the birds sing? Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like, like swinging. Look at everybody having fun, boys and girls. <gasps> you should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. Look, what is that right there? Look at all the animals, lions and tigers and zebras and elephants. You should stomp your feet. Look, like they're dancing. Look, he, he pop, popped him up off the ground. You should take a bath, said the hippopotamus and make a splash, said the otter. You should hug someone, said the snake. You should laugh. 
You should take a nap. Look, there's an alligator. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. You think they're trying to cheer him up? But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. What do you think Jim said, boys and girls? Say it with me. I'm not grumpy. And he stomped off. Look, there he goes. You think he's, you think he's, uh, you think he's still grumpy or happy? Uh, Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am kind of grumpy. And just as he was starting to feel really sad again, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. Look at Norman. He's been smiling the whole time. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Look, can you see boys and girls? What does he have? Oh, are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. Look, they're sitting side by side and he already felt a little bit better. And look, do they look grumpy? They look happy to me. Did you like that story? That's the end. I did too. Well, thank you so much, boys and girls. It's so good to be with you. Can't wait to see you in person. Stay safe and stay healthy. And uh, I love you all, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.